second round against Tadas Tamasauskas in his opening fight. And then got a 4-1 win against Urkid Adilbek of Kyrgyzstan last time out. A good all-round fighter. Got a bit of power. Brings some, some educated pressure. Russian national champion this year. Alfonso, as I said, now representing Azerbaijan. Moved from Cuba to Azerbaijan three years ago. Found himself behind Arlen Lopez at 75 kg. Originally, a few years back. And then at Tokyo in the summer, where he won a bronze medal representing Azerbaijan. He found himself up against Lopez again, who'd moved up to 81 and lost by unanimous decision. 2019 got to the quarterfinals at the last World Championships. And in this one, with 86 kilos available, he decided to move up and he does look better at this weight. It must have been hard to make 81 kilos. He's got an extra five kilos, 11 pounds to, to play with here. And he looks good on it. His wins have come against Suleimani of the Fair Chance team and Aradoi of Romania. Jab to the body to kick things off there for Atayev. Alfonso jabbing the body. He's pulling back into the corner. Seeing if he could suck Atayev in. Atayev wasn't playing that game. Backing up, backing up, backing up there, Alfonso. Willingly, just trying to tempt Atayev in and then looking to counter punch. He backs his hand speed, Alfonso. Atayev, slightly circumspect there. You can see him just creeping forward. He doesn't want to commit too much, trying to get in with the jab and back out again. Maybe the one two. He knows what Al Alfonso's game is here. He knows exactly what he's after. Right hand there from Alfonso, that landed midway through round one. Again there, he's just slightly cautious about pulling the trigger at Taev. Because as I say, he knows what Alfonso is up to here. He's waiting for him to throw and then backing his ability to counter with what he feels are quicker hands. 30 seconds remaining, comes off the ropes, springs off the ropes there, Alfonso with the one-two. Cagey opening round that, as I said. Alfonso wants his opponent to come on to him. Atayev obliged, but didn't really engage too much. And Alfonso gets it with four out of the 
five judges. The cleaner punching out of the two of them, you'd say, was from him. So that hasn't really worked for Atayev. I wonder, can he force Alfonso to come forward himself? He's always going to give you that ground, Alfonso. And, and as a fighter, it's, it's very tempting to take it, particularly if, like Atayev, you, you generally go about things that way. He's not a gung-ho kind of fighter. He piles forward and throws bundles of punches, but he does look just to take that space with the, with the front foot, come forward. That's what he likes to do, but the problem is, is that that's exactly what Alfonso wants you to do. And it's difficult to see how Atayev can do it so much better than he did it in the first round that we're going to get a different result in the second and third if the, if the fight follows this same pattern. Left hand landed high on the head there. Nice one too. Again, he's he's on the ropes there, or near the ropes, and then just steps in, throws the one two and lands. I'm trying to hurry those feet up. He is committing more in the second round than he did in the first. I think he realises that he has to. It might mean that he'll get countered more. It will mean that he'll get countered more, but in the first round he was quite... As I said, he was quite cautious. He was wary of the, of the hand speed of the counters from Alfonso. And I think now he realises that there's not that much necessarily that he can do about that, that he is going to get caught by some. But that if he commits to his own tax a little bit more, he's more likely to have his own success. Nice combination there from Alfonso and that in a kind of microcosm is, is how the fight has gone and the problem that Atayev has had. He's stepping to Alfonso who's willingly giving that bit of ground and going to the ropes. He let go with the 1-2 Atayev and Alfonso saw it, was triggered by it, let his own 1-2 go and landed first because he's got quicker hands. There goes the bell, so I think that'll be another round in the books there for Alfonso. I'd say, as I said, he did bring a bit more heat in that round, but... I don't really see him winning it on that basis. Ten nines across the board there from Alfonso, so he's got a two-point gap with four out of the five judges and is in control of this one. It's it's slightly frustrating to watch, to be honest, because it's an effective method for Alfonso, and I wouldn't say it was bad to watch, not that he's in the business here of having to entertain me, he's here to win fights, but you're kind of watching Atayev just do exactly what Alfonso wants him to do. And it's good boxing. If you can get your opponent to fight the fight that you want him to fight, then more power to you. But I guess Atayev, as a, as a fighter with the style that he's got, there's, there's not really much else he can do. 
It's just not in his nature to try and hang back and force Alfonso to come forward. And in any case, I'm not entirely sure how you would do that. Well, how you would do it is you've got to win the first round. If you can win the first round against Alfonso, then he's going to be forced, you would imagine, to come forward. But if you don't win the first round, then you've got a massive, massive problem. Because you've got to step to him even more then, and that's even more what he wants. Lead left hand. Very familiar story there of Alfonso just hanging back in the corner. Ateev lets those hands go and back he comes with the right hand. He really does have very quick hands. He really does. just telling Alfonso to keep his head up 30 seconds remaining in the round so we are going to see Heinrich Ruiz up against Lauren Alfonso and that that is going to be really interesting because we've got two Cuban fighters there they both know all the tricks Ruiz will know exactly what Alfonso wants him to do and I'm really interested to see how the how he will go about it using that upper body movement there and then counters with a nice jab he's a very skillful fighter Alfonso a very skillful fighter and if you play him at his game then you've got to really go some to beat him for me it really does come down to that first round if you can win the first round against him then he's got to do something different he will be forced you would imagine to do something different but if you can't win the first round then you really have got a problem Reminds you of Julio La Cruz at, at light heavy. Similar kind of, similar kind of dynamic. If if he won the first round, which he almost always did, then you may as well just go home. Alfonso gets it by split decision. 4-1, so Poland going 2-1 there to Atayev. Three judges scoring it 3-0, another one 2-1, and it was comfortable. It was a comfortable win. So he goes to the semi-finals, where as they say, he will face his fellow native Cuban, Heinrich Ruiz. And that completes the quarterfinals in the cruiserweight division. Two more fights in this session. Both at super heavyweight. Always a good way to finish. We've got Julian Congo of Ecuador up against Mark Petrovsky of the Russian Boxing Federation and Nigel Paul facing up against Berat Akar. Petrovsky just in an unbelievable fight against Nelvi Tiafak.